Well, it has been brought to my attention that perhaps our midweek momentums have, well, shall we say, lacked a little depth. People are looking for the deeper things of life, the deeper truths of God, and perhaps I've been a little flippant, a little, I don't know, just lacked digging in for deep things. So today, our word for the day, boys and girls, is this, infralapsarianism. <laughs> I think you should be very impressed that I know this word. It has more syllables than most people know Bible verses. And even though I don't exactly remember uh, exactly what it means anymore, still, I think you ought to be impressed that, uh, look at the size of that word. Isn't that just, has to be incredibly deep? Our actual word for today is this, right there. Because as I think about the truths of God's word, as I think about Jesus and uh everything about him and his message and why he came to this earth, one of the things that hits me is how incredibly deep and rich and full and life-changing his simple truths are. I mean, I'm reading Ephesians chapter 2. It's so simple. It lays it out so plainly. It starts off and it says that we were all dead in our sins. Very simply, sin is not just an action. Sin is a condition that infected all of us. But... God, and I love those words, look for them throughout Scripture, but when you see them in Ephesians chapter 2, it's better than ever. Two stinking little three-letter words, but God. You see, we were dead in sin, but God, according to his amazing grace, according to his unbelievable love, sent his son to fix our problem. And then we realize that uh, we are saved by his grace uh, through faith that we place in him, uh, or by faith, when we place our, our faith in the fact that God accepted the work of Jesus Christ as full payment for our sin. And then we have the hope of the res resurrection to keep us moving forward. And then the end of chapter 2 just goes in and talks about the unity that we have together because of salvation. So think about it. Pretty simple. When we really look at life, there is one race. It's called the human race. Uh, there is one problem. It's called sin. There's one solution. His name is Jesus. And there's one hope beyond this life, and it's the resurrection. Simple, but so rich, so deep, so amazing. I hope you'll be thinking about the gospel today. And a couple of quick applications, if I could give you, as you think about this. Sometimes we're looking at life and we're saying, man, things are so messed up. What can I possibly do to improve the situation of this world? The greatest thing you can do is found in right here, sharing the message that is the solution to the problem man has. So as we, through our lives, through our witness, through our words, share the message of the gospel. And then the second thing, just to think about it, again, I mentioned at the end of Ephesians chapter 2, it talks about unity. And if we could remember that the unity that we have in salvation, in the gospel, is greater than than anything that divides us. <laughs> Honestly, think about if we got a hold of the simple truths of God, how much it would transform our lives.